Google has released the Gemma 3 family of models, which are Google's open source family of language models. Now, if you are familiar with something like Google's Gemini, this is kind of the opposite side of the coin to that, where the Gemma family of models are open source, you can run them locally, and they're designed to be built upon and perhaps fine-tuned or pivoted towards your own specific use cases. Now, Gemma 3 is quite interesting, and the thing I'm going to mainly be focusing on in this video is testing the 4 billion parameter model of Gemma 3 as it actually has multimodal capabilities. And with that, I want to just jump right into it. And I do have to be honest with you, this is the first time I tested it. And this is the only message I've sent it so far. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed from the, I suppose, flattery standpoint where I sent it a picture of myself here and I asked it simply, what is this? And it responded by saying it was Ryan Reynolds, a popular YouTuber and streamer known for his gaming content, particularly in relation to Minecraft. So <laughs> out the gate, Gemma 3 is quite a flattering model, but <laughs> we're really just going to take a quick peek at like the model overview. There is actually a technical report here for those of you who are interested in these sorts of things. This may actually be kind of interesting to look at because one of the really, I think, interesting and like ooh, awe-inspiring things about these family of models is that the context length here as we can see is 128k tokens and it says at least 128,000 tokens now i am cautious to kind of bring this up in a really like impressive way because i'm not going to be testing this up to 128,000 tokens today so i can't really say for certain how well that will perform but just based on the fact that that's actually listed here I will say that is kind of impressive and they do actually talk about some tweaks they've done here and things like that to help keep memory utilization relatively speaking lower throughout some of those very long context conversations and things like that so they mentioned that and really the only other thing I'm not going to go through this paper like I do in some of my other videos but something I do find interesting that is really quite impressive is that it says Gemma 3 4B IT which from my understanding is just the instruct version of the model is competitive with Gemma 2 27B IT so <laughs> I mean the 4 billion parameter model here of Gemma 3 is comparable to the 27 billion parameter model of Gemma 2. That, in my opinion, is really a drastic improvement and quite impressive. And again, these are things I'm kind of reading off the technical report here, and I'm not testing this myself to verify it. So with that caveat, I will say that this does seem quite impressive. And kind of in that same vein, we see right here that Gemma 327B Instruct is comparable to Gemini 1.5 Pro. And again, Gemini is the actual state-of-the-art language model family from Google. They're only available online. You can't run them locally. They're not open source. So this is quite impressive. And really, with that, I think we're just going to go ahead and jump into perhaps sending it some images and seeing if it understands them and perhaps asking it a couple of random questions and we'll kind of vibe out with it, if you will. <laughs> so I do have the model loaded right here in Open Web UI, and I'm simply going to make a new chat and just type hello because I do want to make sure that it loads properly. And as I am doing that, I will just say for today's video, this is going to be tested on my laptop right here, which as we can see here in NVTOP is a GeForce RTX 4060 laptop GPU. So this is eight gigabytes of RAM max, and I am running OBS concurrently right now, which always adds a little bit of overhead. But as we can see, we're around six gigabytes. So it is kind of close to what this laptop will likely be able to handle, but that is with OBS. If we go on Olama right here, we can see that Gemma 3 is available, and I am simply just doing the default Olama run Gemma 3, which will pull the 4 billion version, and we can see the quantization here is Q4KM. So that is the specific version of this that I am running, is the one from Olama, just the default 4 billion pull. And it is pertinent to note that the 1 billion parameter variant of Gemma 3 is not multimodal. So that would be text only, but all of the other flavors or sizes of this model are actually multimodal. So as we can see right here in this table, that is essentially what it says. There is a 4 billion parameter variant, a 12 billion and a 27 billion, which are all multimodal and then the 1 billion text only. So with that, I think we can kind of just nudge um, NVTOP out of the way as that's not really going to be so important for what we're doing today. But I have prepared a folder here of things, and we can basically go ahead and just start. 
So the first is an image of a Dogecoin chart from the last day, and I'm basically going to ask it to give me a trading strategy based on this chart and tell me what it would do and why it would do it. All right, so let's just quickly take a look. And we can see the response speed here is actually quite fast on a kind of small laptop. This is given a seemingly somewhat in-depth response here. Now, I am no trading pro correctly identified the number of the previous close right here, which was correct, so that's a good sign. Can't see volume data, so it actually knows that it is missing the volume data here. And again, remember that this is a 4 billion parameter variant of the model in a Q4 quant. So this is really like a tiny model and not something you would expect to be very performant in specific tasks, especially something that's perhaps more domain niche specific like trading. It's telling me trade idea for the next hour, long buy, wait for a pullback to around this number. Stop loss, place a stop loss, aim for a target price of here. Reasoning, it's based on the principle of confirming a breakout. The strong green candle indicates a shift in sentiment and buying pressure. And again, I'm not going to read its whole kind of thing because that would probably get boring, but it is even giving me follow-up questions now to better assist it in actually coming up with the answer here. So I have to say, again, I'm not a trading pro, so everything this is saying right here may like totally bankrupt anyone who, were to, who was to follow this advice. But overall, that is actually seemingly not bad. It is lucid and gives me a response and has correctly identified at least some of the actual figures from this prompt. The next thing I want to do real quick is, I don't know if you've seen this, but people have been testing LLMs with like green text prompts, which for those who are not like degenerates and not familiar, it's essentially having it like write things as it would on 4chan. So I have started a prompt for it right here. And I'm just, this is going to be text only. I'm just going to say, please finish this. And I will mention green text. I'm not reading this out loud because I just kind of... <laughs> All right, well, overall, it um did go kind of dark with this one. I'm really not 100% sure what to make of this one. I think I may just like leave this on the screen for a few seconds as a static kind of just viewport so anyone interested can probably just pause it right here and read this and make of this what you will because <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what to make of this, but... Um, I suppose that's something. It was a little kind of <laughs> destined for oblivion. All right, <laughs> we're going to try another image right here. And I have something here. This is kind of a guitar joke. So I will actually explain this first and foremost. Teletubbies, so this is called a Telecaster guitar, and this guitar is called a Stratocaster. So these would be Stratotubbies, and these would be Teletubbies. So that's just kind of... Um, you know, the gist behind that. So I'll say, please explain this. And I will preface it by saying it is a meme. Okay, so it didn't quite get it right, but it did recognize that this was referring to Stratocaster. Stratocaster. I'd give this like 50-50, I suppose I could say. And I do apologize, I should probably be um, generation speed. Again, this is more just kind of to like vibe with the model and get a feel, but we can see right there the generation speed is right here. Overall, the response tokens per second was 52. And if we do go and look at perhaps some of the other chats, um, if I was able to locate them, let's see. So 53, I'm assuming that is all going to be around the same 51 and 59. So when it called me Ryan Reynolds, it was a bit quicker. Uh, make of that what you will, I suppose. All right, so my previous one was just a disaster, so I'm not even going to show it, but it was not able to properly understand this meme just about how classical music makes plants grow, and then it just shows the plant being like, I need to reach the off button to turn this off. The final thing I'm basically going to ask it is, what laptop is this? Now, this is my beloved Toshiba Quasmio gaming laptop that some of you may be familiar with, so... Um, we'll see how this does with vintage retro gaming laptops from the Windows Vista era. I would be shocked if this got this, and I'm not expecting it to. Toshiba Satellite Nebula. Okay, I don't actually know if that's a real model, but this is a Toshiba, and the Toshiba Satellite was actually a real thing. So, yep, okay, so... 
that is not a real laptop model. However, it did recognize a Toshiba satellite, which is a real laptop, uh, I think. Yes. Okay. So I'll give that a 50% there, maybe even like a 60 or 75, because that was, that was actually not bad. Let's take a quick look at video RAM utilization right now. So we are a bit higher at 7.2 gigabytes, but again, I'm running OBS in the overhead and I am running open web UI, though I can't imagine that would make much of a difference in video RAM utilization, but I do have to say I'm not quite sure. Really, I just wanted to do a very quick kind of image test with Gemma 3 4B, as this is a very tiny and resource efficient multimodal model, obviously from Google and open source release. And I love covering the open source releases of anybody who is releasing into the open source. So it's awesome to see a new family of Gemma. This is from what I have been reading this release as a whole, perhaps some of the other larger models are getting really nice feedback from the community seemingly. So that speaks highly and perhaps they are testing them in more scientific ways than my uh, attempt at a vibe test here, if you will. So with that, that is going to conclude a quick little video on Gemma 3 4B multimodal. Um, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know.